What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. <laughs> Dude, look at my hair, oh my gosh. This is what I like to call, I just woke up and that's what we're rocking. You know what, we're gonna fix this up really quickly. I took my glasses off and they still got dirty. Anyway, this is literally my favorite hairstyle. I wear this all the time. I know a lot of you are like, dude, this ain't a hairstyle. It's just a bun. A bun's a hairstyle, all right. Don't let anybody tell you different, okay? But I'm actually going to clean my glasses real quick and we're gonna jump straight into this awesome video because this is not clickbait, this is not messing around. I'm actually really excited for this. I've been wanting to do this for a really long time. I'm gonna be turning my old hair that was in my dreadlocks that fell out of my dreads by combing them out into dreadlocks. Nobody's ever done this before, not that I'm aware of. So you guys are gonna see how to do it, if you wanna do it, or just be interested in how weird this actually is. But I'm gonna go through a whole process of actually cleaning them, you know, washing them, making sure that they're not dirty, have any old, you know, dry scalp in there. So they're gonna be clean. And then I'm gonna go in and then turn them into dreadlocks, dreadlock extensions. Maybe I can install them. Okay guys, if you guys remember, like I said, coming out my dreads a while back, you guys can watch all those videos. I have them in a playlist, but in today's video, I'm going to be turning my combed out hair into dreadlocks. This is all the hair that I combed out. It's literally so much hair. Like you guys seen, I have some like really old shampoo that I used to use. I have this tea gel and this is for dry scalp. So I recommend this for anybody with dry scalp. I can actually link it in the description. And also I'm using this other, I don't even, I didn't even read it, but it's just some old shampoo that we don't use anymore. I'm using this to wash the dreadlocks. Well, the dread balls rather, or just the balls of hair, whatever you want to call them. I'm washing them and trying to make sure that I get rid of all that gunk and I feel like the tea gel will help out a whole bunch. What I noticed with this shampoo is that it really lathers up really well. So ended up washing all those out. And then eventually, like you see right here, I'm actually just dipping all the hair in the water and soaking it. And then I pour in the shampoo, it gets really bubbly, lather it all up. And then I just started kind of just working it into the hair, which I said this part was a bit weird. It was actually really weird. The whole thing was really weird. <laughs> This is the really huge one and this one had so much gunk in it, it was really dirty and it just looked thrashed. Like there was so much stuff in here. It was, it was really weird, it was really kind of nasty but I'm glad I washed all of it out. Right here you see me actually separating the ones that I figured were actually not going to work out and this group right here is actually all the hair I'm going to use. and. The other side is all the hair that was too hard and very knotted up and was no use in trying to unlock it. Then I went ahead and blow dried everything and I didn't want it to become super dry to where it's hard to manage but I wanted it uh, dry enough to where I can actually manage with it. Because if it was too wet it wouldn't have locked up and if it's too dry it would have been hard to separate the hair. I'm using like you see a comb and a crochet needle. And what I'm doing with the comb is I'm just kind of brushing through with the knotted areas and blending it together, if you could say it that way, so that it all looks pretty even and it's the same consistency throughout the whole clump of hair. And then now you see me actually just kind of lightly forming it. Later on, I actually rolled this on the towel, but I'll explain that later. But then I formed it lightly and then I started palm rolling right here, as you guys can see. 
And this is what really did the trick. Once I started palm rolling, it made a transformation so quick and so easy. And you can see how quickly it's forming right here. And yeah, I just did a bunch of palm rolling and then on little pieces like the tips, I would use crochet needling and also if it got really thin in the middle or any thin spots, I would just pull in with a crochet needle to make sure that there's nothing thin, nothing standing out and always just pulling in all that frizzy hair. But palm rolling is the biggest thing to actually make this all come together really well. So you can see how this looks really good. It's just a dreadlock. It's literally like as if someone cut their dreadlock off their head. And yeah, I created these five and it only took about 30 minutes, but I still had all this hair left. And yeah, it was, it was a messy process, but it came out really well. But in the next clip, I'm actually gonna explain everything. Yo, God, whew, dang. Guys, that took really long and it took a lot of energy because I was trying to do it quick. I could say I could probably get all that done if I was like constantly working and probably watching a video, listening to music or something like that. I could probably get that all done in probably an hour and a half. So it's literally like creating dreadlocks on someone's actual hair. Now the only downside of it and what makes it a little harder, but at the same time it makes it a little easier is that some of the hair is clumped up. So it's already locked up in some spaces. But having the combination of hair being locked up and then hair being very free. And of course this is just dead hair that fell out of the dreadlocks and a lot of them are broken, so they're not full lengths of hair. So trying to attach those locks into hair that maybe not even full length or even have enough length to lock up can be pretty hard, but it's very possible. I made five of these in about, I would say 30 minutes. So I made five dreadlocks total and I kind of rushed like the last two just because I was like, yo, this is taking really long. I'm being completely honest with you. It was, it was long enough to be as if I'm doing someone's actual dreadlocks. Like when I did Diddy's hair, it took about I would say two to three hours. But I'm saying with this, it would probably take an hour and a half, maybe two hours to do the whole thing and probably end up with about, I would say 20 dreadlocks. And these are actually pretty thick dreadlocks. So I could have made them skinnier, which would probably have been smarter. But the cool thing about this is if you were to install these on your hair, they would eventually just look like normal dreadlocks, like actual real hair dreads. The cool thing about it is I washed the hair, the hair is clean. Also, if there was still anything that I missed when I was washing the hair, when I was combing through the hair, which was part of the process, um, I made sure to pick out anything that maybe stood out to me, um, but it was very little. Because if you notice at the beginning when I showed you guys like the actual balls of hair, there was a bunch of just random gunk and like dry scalp and buildup inside of those hair balls. So I made sure to wash that all out and then started the locking process with brushing out the hair and then, you know, forming it, which was actually very easy. And then after a while, I actually started just rolling it. Like say I grabbed this, but it's actually just like clumps of hair. I grabbed it and I clumped it like this, like you've seen in the video, and I was rolling it like this lightly on the towel. And that actually started out a whole lot easier. So that's what's gonna speed up the process if you do this yourself, which I'm not even sure if people are gonna actually do this, but look how much of length there is actually in these dreads. These are about seven to eight inches of actual hair dreadlock extensions. So say you had two inches of your hair, and these are your dreadlocks and you comb them out, you're like, yo, I want my dreadlocks back. You can easily install these. You just have to have enough hair on top of your head to start a lock. And all you have to do is crochet these in. But like I said, there's probably not a lot of people out there who are gonna do this. They think it's nasty or something like that. I just think it's better if it's your own hair and then if you're bold, you'll, you'll purchase someone else's hair. Hey, you all wanna buy these? I can create the rest of them. Yo, I'll ship them straight to you. <laughs> I don't know if anybody's gonna want these, but but it was actually a very easy process. The only hiccups was, like I said, having the hair that's already locked up and then having the hair that is very loose and very short and just like broken up. That's the only downside, but when it comes to actually forming the lock, cause all I did is clump them together, palm roll them, and then I did crochet needling, but it was very minimal crochet needling when I did it. And like I said, it was very easy to do. And I'm actually stoked on how they turned out. They turned out better than I expected. I don't know if they're actually gonna form or even if they're gonna stay together, but they stay together really well and they seem very stiff right now, but with any dreadlock extensions or when you get them, they're gonna be very stiff. I mean, when you start your dreadlocks, they come out stiff like this. If you've never started dreadlocks, they come out like this. If you do the crochet needle method, but if you do any other method like twisting with gel, of course, they're gonna be very flimsy and not as mature, but this is a mature dreadlock. And the cool thing about it is over time, it's gonna loosen up. Not loosen up as in to where the hair is gonna fall out, but it's gonna loosen up to where it's gonna be more mobile and be able to move. But this isn't going anywhere. It's locked and loaded and yeah, it's ready to go. So I just thought this was gonna be a cool experiment to do it. Comment down below if I should do the rest of the hair on another video, because I'll definitely finish all these and see how much we come out with on the end because 
this took a little longer than I expected. I guess I didn't really put the two together that this was gonna take just as long as creating dreadlocks on someone's head. But like I said, I'll finish the rest of those. If you comment down below, you want me to do that. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe if you guys are new because I drop a whole bunch of hair content. I wanted to take a break of my natural curly hair right now just because like I said, I had my hair braided and I took my braids out a couple days back and I like to let my scalp recover and take a break. So I figured what better way than to create some dreadlocks for my old hair <laughs> because I, it was literally just sitting there doing nothing, which originally I should have just threw them away, but hey, it came to a great video. <laughs> Hopefully, if, if you guys enjoyed it. But you guys, that is the video. I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully you guys do have an amazing day. Matter of fact, have a great day. Peace out and God bless.